Okay, right. So why do we think people suddenly get the ick? Is the ick even a real thing? Yeah, Oh my is. God, it is. Yeah. I know it, it is, is, but I do feel like there's this sense of like, oh, I'm, you know, it's the way I tied up my shoelace. I've got the ick. Like, no, I do. That's not a thing. No, let I me saw explain. a boy's toenail and I was like, ick. Ooh. Yes. I take responsibility for being the person that bought the ick to Instagram. Now, Stop. I know I didn't invent the ick. I know it came from Love Island. The ick is not just general turnoffs. You can call that the ick because the, the word works. Oh, sure. That. I get it wrong now. But so, so for example, I could say, oh, I get the ick when a man picks his nose and eats his bogey. Of course, everybody is going to get, that's a, just a general turn off. Sure. Right. The, the thing about the ick is that it is irrational, totally unreasonable, and it is beyond your control. And I don't know if you've ever felt it. I have. But I it have. is like a sudden repulsion. And it's usually with somebody who you really like. And it can happen for absolutely no reason. I really like this guy. And he turned up at my house and he had a bit of mud on his trainers. And I was like... <sighs> Oh my God. And that was it. I couldn't look at him for the rest of the night. I couldn't have sex with him, which was what we planned to do. <laughs> and you can't say to someone, it's because you turned up at my door with mud on your shoes. I know. Because that doesn't make sense. Like, and it wasn't the mud. It wasn't the shoes. It was the ick. I've had the ick from someone wearing a t-shirt with a pattern on it. And again, it wasn't bad fashion or anything. It's just one of those things that when the ick hits, it hits. And yeah. that is why it's really important to talk about because actually... You can feel like a massive bitch when you get the ick because you can think, how can I end a relationship with this incredible human who I really want to have something with? How can I end it with him because he dropped his glove? You know? Dropped, dropped his, his glove. glove. Oh, or, or he did a little trip up a step. You know, how can I put... What a, <laughs> he did a little you know, trip what a horrible person, person am I so to end it? But, but actually, it's really important for us to share these stories because... It's normal. Because it's a thing. And it's actually, instead of trying to continue to date somebody who you feel totally repulsed by, <laughs> the sound of them breathing makes you feel sick. And you try and force yourself because you think there's no reason for me to feel like this. But you've got the ick. Um... And there's lots of different reasons behind why people yeah. think the ick might happen. So there's some explanations that are rooted in like evolutionary psychology. And this is particularly for uh, women. Obviously, when we're dating, whether we want kids or not, we're all subconsciously assessing whether this person yeah. is going to be a the good parent to our child. Yeah. And a lot of the, the ick that comes from, you know, them tripping up a little bit or them, I don't know, hitting their elbow on a car door mm. or something. Again, which are not things that you should end a relationship with someone sure. for. But apparently there may be something within our brains that goes, eh, that person's a bit clumsy. They're going to drop our baby on its head. So they're not going to be a safe partner. Wow. So cut that one out because they're not going to hold my baby no, this properly. this is fascinating. Oh, this is blown my There are also explanations that are like rooted in obviously attachment and things like that and and self self defense really like self protection and self sabotage. So you're thinking deep down within you 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 have such a strong fear that this person is going to reject you that you are searching for whatever it is that you can find to reject them first to protect yourself to sabotage the relationship before they can do it to you and when does that when you say that's to do with attachment what would your attachment problem start be before be. that to start that well it could be any of them really so people with uh, uh, avoidant uh, attachment styles will also be quite prone to the ick um, because they will get this kind of sense of suffocation and intensity like if somebody likes them too much and that's why I think it's really important to, to you know once you're deep into a relationship actually having that vulnerability and being able to really a understand yourself mm. you can't understand your partner as well if you don't understand yourself but so to, to strip that back like understand their childhood understand their insecurities what they went through you know and some people have really beautiful strong you know parents mm. who who raise them impeccably but it's still you know those people will likely have a secure attachment so secure people can be really good if you've got one secure partner and then an anxious partner mm. the secure partner can be really good for the anxious partner but to like an anxious and an avoidant together is the worst the worst that you could ever have because right. avoidance pulling um, away yeah. and anxious is, is, is on. literally having a nervous breakdown because the avoidant is pulling away you know this it just doesn't work so interesting I can't